Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our quiz problem here. So it says translate the phrase into a variable expression. All right, so we're going to translate the phrase, and we're talking about this phrase here, into a variable expression. So three times a number plus another number. So if you haven't tried this problem, maybe you want to pause the video and see if you can do it now. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the solution here. So here's our phrase, three times a number plus another number. So this is uh, really critical in algebra to be able to interpret a, a verbal phrase and write it as a variable statement and as, a, as an algebraic uh, expression. So three times a number. Let's kind of just pull out some key um, phrases within this sentence. So I'm going to focus on this, a number, all right, and this other part right here, another number. So anytime you see a phrase like that, what we're talking about is a variable. So any number. So three times a number. So what number are we talking about? Well, I don't know exactly. So we need a placeholder for it, right? In an algebra, that's a variable. So just select one. I'm going to go ahead and select x, for example. And then here, notice that we're talking about another number. We're not talking about this number. Okay, we're talking about another number. So we have to use a variable, but it has to be different from this other variable. So maybe select the variable y. Okay, nice and easy variables to um, to deal with. So we have three times a number. So three times, let's go to focus in down here. So three times a number. Now we've already decided our number is going to be x. So three times it is going to be 3x, right? So three times a number is going to be 3x plus, that's pretty easy, we just put a plus sign in it, right? Another number, and that would be y. So our variable phrase or algebraic expression will be 3x plus y. All right, so this is, um, I think, a pretty simple problem when we're talking about these type of um, translating uh, verbal phrases into variable phrases. You definitely want to work on this and continue to master it. It can get kind of confusing, but um, you certainly want to um, work hard to, to uh, comprehend and understand this material. All right, so if you want to take more math pop quizzes with me, please jump on over to homeschoolmathquiz.com, especially if you're a homeschooler. Love to see you there, and have a great day.